What's good, everybody? This is going to be another Glitches and Tricks episode. This one's going to cover a big one. It's going to be covering wrong warping. And there's there's a couple kinds of wrong warping. I don't know what people call them. I'm just going to call them coordinate wrong warping and like save file wrong warping, load wrong warping. Because those are going to be the two main ways that we're going to do this. But the first thing we need to do is get infinite jump glitch. So I will be right back when I get that. Okay, so I just got a moon jump state. Now, right after you get it, right here is when you have to decide what kind of wrong warping you want to do. Now, I'm going to explain coordinate wrong warping now. Um... And then I'll explain, uh, save file later. Uh, so, coordinate warping is, I have my travel medallion right here. And wherever you fast travel to next after activating moon jump, as far as I know, I could be wrong. There could be ways to change that afterwards. Feel free to correct me in the comments below. But anyway, we're gonna... Wherever your travel medallion is, this is going to be a DLC thing. Uh, sorry to say. But anyway, my travel medallion is somewhere in the middle of the map. Wherever you place it in the map is going to be the coordinate it tries to warp you to afterward, afterwards. Like, after like a void out or like a respawn or something. But yeah, we are going to um, teleport to the medallion now. Okay, so we are at the at the fast travel point. And after you come here, you can optionally save. I'm not going to. But after that, you can just go to, let's say, I'm trying to think of a shrine that you can void out at. Maybe this one. Okay, so I just walked into this shrine, and I'm just gonna jump off it. We're gonna void out real quick. And it should take us to a random coordinate. Well, not a random coordinate. A coordinate based on where I put the medallion. Now I put the medallion somewhere. Somewhere in the middle of the map. And that took me all the way over here. So, yeah. I can just get up here and I could run over here and check that out. I'm gonna try and do that. There's BIO over there. And yeah, now we're we're on top of the shrine. Looking down on it. And you can do this with any shrine that you can void out at, pretty much. But yeah, I'm gonna show off a couple more examples quick. Okay, we have another shrine. Let's just jump off it. And it put us all the way over here. So let's go. Let's go check it out. You see, is that the water or something? I don't know. I think it could be. Oh, there's the light, too. It's weird. Can I get out of this state, please? Um, I don't know how to get out of this, I'm not going to lie, so be careful, use this at your own risk. I'm going to show off one more example. Okay, I walked over to the D DLC temple. And I'm just going to void out quickly. 
when I get the chance. I do like the music here. I love this temple. This guy, screw this guy. Just gonna void out. I haven't tried this yet, I hope this works here. Oh shit, nice. Oh, we're far. Alright. Oh no, I got voided out. There's a death box there. Oh shit. Okay. Can I avoid it? As the question. I can. No, I can't. Damn it. Well, I'm just gonna keep getting teleported back to that coordinate. But anyway, that's coordinate wrong warping. Pretty fun. Go try it out for yourself. And now I'm going to reset and show off uh, save file wrong warping quick. Okay, now for save file wrong warping or just straight up load wrong warping. Now, for this, before you get moon jump, you already want to have where you want to wrong warp to uh, saved. Um, for this example, I'm... I'm just gonna use Hitano Village here, like my my one save. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna load this now. And then after we load it, we're just going to fast travel to the travel medallion. And then after we do that, um I think any time we load an area or the next time we load. Actually never mind, that's wrong. Uh, scratch all that. So, now that we've teleported here, this is going to be our destination. Since we loaded here, now we're going to fast travel to the travel medallion. And after that, um, basically the first area that you went to before you went to the travel medallion is going to be where you wrong warp to. So keep that in mind. And this lasts, this even lasts through like master mode to like normal mode. Like if you change modes, it'll still work. That's how I did um, a future glitch that I'm about to do um, coming up later. That's another video. But anyway, after I teleport here, I'm going to return to the title screen and swap over. Swap over to uh, normal mode just to show this off. Um, not in Hyrule Castle right now. I guess I'll just load this. This doesn't affect your save file, by the way. This just affects like where you load into based on the save file that you used. So now our goal is just to get an auto save. Just want to get, just want to get an auto save right now. So I'm gonna get out of here, or at least try to. But yeah, the goal right now is just to get an auto save. I'll be right back when I get one. Okay, so we got an auto save right here. I walked over to the shrine. 
And now, hopefully, when I load this save, it should bring me to Hateno Village. It works better if you're within shrines, though. So, I uh, just warp into shrines. But anyway, here we are. Now I'm at Hateno Village, where I was on the other file. Which is crazy. But anyway, yeah. Here I am at where I was on the other file, but on normal mode. And I don't have any saves at Hateno. And you can also do this in shrines, so if I had a save file, for instance, saved in a shrine, or a divine beast, or the final temple, any of those, like literally like anything or anywhere, um, just have a save beforehand. And then, after you, um, after you save it, activate Moon Jump, and then load it, and then go to the Travel Medallion. That's the only catch, is you have to have the Travel Medallion. And then just load an auto-save, and then swap over to the other file, load it. That's good for, like, sequence breaking. Like, you can beat the Divine Beasts without getting the, the glider. Stuff like that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. That's showing off two kinds of wrong warping. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thanks. Peace. See you on the next one.